in this lecture we are going to address why is testing necessary in order to understand this we must remember that all of us are human and being human we make mistakes and those mistakes can be very expensive the expense can be loss of money it can be crucial loss of time it can also be loss of business reputation and the final and gravest loss is death or injury due to our mistake so in order to avoid these losses and to minimize risk we have to test every single aspect of our product now let's take a look into three more important point for a better understanding of why is testing necessary first point is related to risk we perform testing to reduce the risk associated with the product and how do we do that by detecting the defect which is our next point so we have to detect defect so that they are not seen in operational use so when the user is using our product they should not be able to find these defects it's our responsibility to find them first through testing the third point is meeting the contract so we have to make sure that we are meeting all the commitments we made to our customer so if the customer asks for something that is not included in the contract this is where we find it so these are the reasons testing is necessary to the process of product development now let's see an example to understand this suppose there is a developer who works on a code and creates a software he then directly hands over this software to the customer now that the customer has the software he uses it but soon becomes very disappointed why because he has found an error in the software so now the question arises why did the customer find the error and not us the answer is that once the software was developed he handed it over directly to the customer instead of going through this rigorous process of testing if we had put this product through this process it is possible that we could have caught this error before it is ever reached to the customer and this is where i have to mention something crucial we have to perform appropriate testing at appropriate levels so now let's have a look into these different levels of development activities so the first level is requirement and in our coming videos we will see how testing requirement contributes to success the second level is the design stage here we will see how testing design contributes to success of the project after design comes coding and here we will see how testing coding contributes to success and finally the software is ready and we will analyze that what kind of software testing will contribute to the success of the product so if we carry out testing at each level then we will achieve a successful product Before we end this lecture let's have a look into different topics which we are going to cover under this section so the first topic is give a example of why testing is necessary next is describe the relationship between testing and quality assurance and give examples of how testing contributes to higher quality next is distinguish between error defect and failure and last one is distinguish between the root cause of a defect and its effect if you see all these topic they are marked as k2 that means we have to understand this topic in order to answer them so the first topic is already covered we have already seen an example of why testing is necessary so next we are going to address the second topic thank you